Hey guys, we're on the road right now. Here's Alex. Dad's up front. He's waiting on me to hand him the phone. So while he's doing that, while we're getting back to the car here, check in where you're watching from. See, there he is. Crew. She straightened her hair. Check in. Where are you guys at? I don't even know what he's going to talk about today. We'll know when, when I hand him the phone, though. to the car. Thanks. You know he's gonna get out of the back here. Check it. Portable coffee maker. From Ox Beyond Rugged. It's called a coffee box. Boom. Make the coffee. It makes the coffee. Yeah. But right now, it takes the swap fuel. Anyone else? Anyone? We got 67 people. While well, they're checking in, he's taking a swap fuel right now. Remember, guys, we're going to pick the winner of this. Not right now. We're Jared gonna, is, though. Yeah, we're not going to do it right now because I'm going to give you guys one more chance to share this post and uh, the one before this, all the morning mindset posts, share them and tag two people in the comments. Back in the car. I'm gonna hand it over to Professor Paul now. We got 76, so tell him what you're gonna talk about. Uh, I'm gonna talk about danger and safety. How's that sound? Plan. My glass is reflecting. Yeah, my glass is reflecting. All right, freaks and hippies. Uh, obviously, you know right now we are on the road. We're going to turn that down. We're on the road to Atlanta. We're going to see some of our friends, hopefully many of our friends, at the Concealed Carry Expo Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm probably going to get motion sickness if I keep looking at this like that. But that's okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and begin. Let's talk about safety versus danger. Last night, I was sitting on the porch enjoying a cigar. I was enjoying a Jose Marti cigar. And uh, I shared it with some people. And I looked up Jose Marti. It's M-A-R-T-I. And there actually was several quotes by Jose Marti, and one of the quotes that I found very uh, illustrative, and, and it was, goes all the way back to like the 1890s, but he said, in truth, men speak too much of danger. Let's consider that for a second. So you say, well, what was Jose Marti saying? Was he saying that, that we're always talking about danger or we want to get involved in danger? No, I believe that what he was saying was that men speak too much of danger as in they're looking for safety or the illusion of safety and today in the United States hell in the world we have this great focus on safety and it's not just the hippies I know a lot of you guys out there are like oh, I'm not like that I'm one, I'm one of the good guys I'm you know I'm not worried about safe spaces or safety and I say well well are you really because when training is offered to you, when you're told that there's a training program available, uh, or you, you're told, you realize, hey, I live in a crappy state. I live in an area that has an HOV lane. Let me tell you what, brothers and sisters, you want to survive a zombie apocalypse? Step number one, get out of a city that has an HOV lane. If you are living in a metropolitan area that has an HOV lane, you are not going to survive a zombie apocalypse because you are surrounded by parasites and they will eat you alive. Sorry, that's the fact. You live in a slave state. 
you live in the People's Republic of New York, Massachusetts, California, et al. You know that. You know that that state is taking your money, using your money to fight against you, using your money to enslave your children. But you don't want to leave. Why? Oh, it's nice here. It's comfortable here. Oh, I have family here. My wife really likes it. Now, you'll tell me, oh, this safe space stuff is a bunch of bull crap, and I don't believe in that. But is Massachusetts your safe space? Is California your safe space? Are you living in an area where you may realize eh, it's probably not the best, but, but what? Because you're not you're not going to or not willing to take the risk well if I take the risk well you're saying uh, I, I have a, a comfortable job here okay great live with it but the fact of the matter is in today's society in our world we spend so much time avoiding danger and looking for safety that we actually forget how to live about that for a minute. All right, I hope to see a whole bunch of you up there uh, in Atlanta, and if you can't make it to Atlanta this weekend, that's cool. Next month, we're going to be in, and that's actually, what, three weeks? Yeah. In three weeks, we're going to be in Louisville, Kentucky at the NRA annual meetings. Thank you for everybody who shared this and commented and all that jazz, and your homework assignment is super simple. If you've never gone there yet, say hi to Alex. There you go. If you haven't gone to studentofthegun.com yet, go to studentofthegun.com, click the big orange button, get the free training material, and start your education. All right, Jared, do we have anything else to say? Uh, yeah, just tag two people. Tag two people in the comments and share this post for a chance to win the uh, Ox Beyond Rugged coffee box that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So if you missed that, go back to the beginning once we're off here and check it out. It's pretty cool. You can win one. And I'll do that. Anything else? All right, can I hit the finish button? Yeah. Bye, hippies.